Okay, so today I'm going to talk to you guys about how to set up a RefWorks account. RefWorks is just a bibliographic management software, which means that as you're doing research, you can put in all your sources and citations, and at the end you can create a works cited list from the program. So instead of doing all that work by hand once you're done with your paper, you can just go into the program, click a couple buttons, and it'll create your works cited list for you. So it's a really nice time saver. Um, I'm going to show you RefWorks because it's what I use the most, but for your assignment you can use any of the other programs. So we have RefWorks, there's EndNote, there's Mendeley, there's EasyBib, there's a bunch of other ones out there. So if you're familiar with another program, feel free um, to use that one instead. But if you want to set up a RefWorks account, it's pretty easy. From the library's homepage, all you have to do is click on Databases by Title. And then in the top here, click on the R and open up RefWorks. So if you have an account, you can just log in here. Most likely you'll have to set one up, so you need to click on Sign Up for a new account. And it'll ask you for just the basic information that you would need to set up any account. Once you get further down the line, it'll ask you for your group code, and that's all in caps, R-W-U-A-F. And I'll put that in the announcements so you guys have that. But you need to have that group code so that RefWorks can associate your account with the University of Alaska. So again, it's all caps, R-W-U-A-F. So once you've set up your account, you can go ahead and log in. I'll show you what my account looks like. Okay, so this is what a RefWorks account looks like. You'll see all your citations on this first page, right? And the easiest way to use this account is to organize your citations. So you can click on New Folder up here and make a folder just for LS 101 or just for your English class or just for your history class or whatever you happen to be researching. And then you'll see your list of folders over here on the right-hand side. So you can see I have a couple different folders here that I have different sets of citations in. So if I were to click in my Information Literacy folder and then click into the Adult Information Literacy Instruction subtopic, which is something I just research, I would see all my sources related to that, and there's 15 of them. So if I was done with my research and I wanted to create my works cited list, I could click on Create Bibliography on the top of the page here. I would choose my citation style. I like MLA. You can choose whatever you're more comfortable with. You can choose your file type, right? You can do it in Word or rich text. I'm just going to do it in HTML. And then you want to make sure you pick the right folder in references to include. So I want to just do my information literacy folder. So I'm going to click on that. Okay, and then you, you click create bibliography. And it takes a minute put it all together. But that's what it looks like. Okay, so that's my 15 sources for my adult information literacy instruction research. Okay, so it's pretty easy. You can just then copy and paste this into the last page of your paper and you're all set to go. So that's what your assignment is going to ask you to do. If you have questions, get a hold of me. We can work through it together. Um, and if you have questions about uh, another program besides RefWorks, Ask me about that too. I'm familiar with the other ones, so I could probably help you troubleshoot any issues you're having with that one.